What's up, YouTube? Yo, I gotta think of a name for y'all because, like, I can't just keep saying what's up, YouTube. I, I, I'm like, I don't know. I gotta think of a name for y'all, like, uh, I don't know, Lightning Strikers, uh, J Squad. And I think J Squad already taken. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I'll think of it. I'll, I'll have it by the next video. But the time has finally come, yo. I got all my stuff. Finally, yo. It took forever for this stuff to get here. And it's finally here. So I can start recording my gameplay and everything. And it's chilling. It's about to be up there. I'm about to start uploading. Once I record it, of course, and edit it. I'm about to start uploading it. I got to figure out my upload schedule still. Upload schedule, I'm probably going to do like twice a week, maybe. Or if you're lucky, I might do three times a week. So I mean... I'm a gamer, so you know, I'm gonna I'm be playing the games. But like I said, y'all just got, uh, let me know, let me know what y'all uh, want me to play though. Cause right now, uh, at the moment, all I have is a Switch, unfortunately. My other systems are out of commission. Basically, there's some, something that happened and it's tragic. But something that happened to my system, they, they just, they not working right now, they malfunction. So basically, they was pretty old anyway. So I mean, I gotta get new system. I'm not gonna buy a new one, I'm gonna buy some pre-owned ones. So it should be coming pretty soon. But basically, that's to put the long story short. I can't use my systems right now. So all I have is my Nintendo Switch. So with that being said, basically, I'm going to have to start, obviously, with the games that I had. So the games that I have right now, uh, I got Resident Evil 4. I can play that. Resident Evil 5 and Resident Evil 6. Um, I got Smash Bros. Ultimate. Uh, I got Breath of the Wild. Probably going to play a little bit of that. Um... Mario Odyssey, but I'm not playing Odyssey because Odyssey is like, I mean, unless y'all want me to play Mario Odyssey, but it's kind of like, uh, kind of long and dragged on a bit. I mean, it's not much I can react to on that, but I mean, if y'all want me to play it, I'll play it anyway. If y'all want, I can play Luigi's Mansion 3 because, I mean, I beat the game already, but by all means, I ain't 100%. So, I mean, I can start from the beginning and, you know, play that again. I'm chilling with that. That game is actually pretty, it was, it was, it was pretty fun. But, um, yeah. Stuff is finally here, and you know, I'm happy. I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited. I know y'all excited too. My man's gave me this idea. He was like, Why not do an unboxing video? And basically, I was just like, You smart. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do an unboxing video. Now, it's not a lot of stuff, so don't think it's about to be like a 20 minute video where it's just me unboxing stuff. I mean, nah, not that. But I will tell you though, uh, I did have to already open a few things just to make sure it was all there. Cause I didn't want to come record this video, say, oh yeah, I'm about to unbox it. And then, you know, I open it and it's just like, where my stuff at? It's not here. It's not what I ordered. Or, you know, something like that. I got everything from Amazon and it was chilling. Great prices, great delivery, super speedy service. Well, other than that, you had to wait like two and a half weeks for it to get here. But like, anyway, other than that, it's all here now. We could finally get it started. So let that commence now. So first, first thing on the list I'm going to show you is, uh, guess my camera, Logitech camera. This was $99 on Amazon before tax. And basically this is the Logitech C922X Pro Stream webcam. Uh, pretty, this is a great camera to start with. It uh, basically, it has full HD, 1080p at 30 frames per second. I'm guessing that's, a, that's pretty good, I'm guessing. Because when I opened it and used it, it was uh, it was all right. It was all right. Hyper fast frame rate and HD. Yeah, that's that's great. And automatic low light correction. Now, light correction that is that is great because with the low light, that's mean like when you're recording and even if you're inside like a dark room or something, this thing right here will automatically you know like uh, brighten up the area with the you know it's magic. This is a great camera to start off with. It's only $99, so it will not break your pocket. It will not break your bank, and it won't destroy your wallet. But uh, this show on the tire. I'm going to get this show on open, show you what it looked like. I said I already opened it, so, like, you know, it looked right and all that. So open this show, that show right here. Come with the cord. It's a plug and play. You just open it, put it in your computer, download the software, done. It works just like that. That's what it looks like up close. Got a little logo on it. So you can change it, your angle. And it, attach, it just attaches to your monitor. And basically you can put it on the monitor. This little piece goes on the front piece. 
and then you got this right here basically the basically you know have it clamp on so your monitor like this you can clamp it on and you know adjust the camera but yeah this drone pretty high it's pretty great uh, like i said i used it yesterday when i was recording to test everything out worked it worked out pretty fine really fine and like i said and it removes the background for you so that's true all right next this right next. here is the most important part if you basically want to record gameplay this the elgato hd 60 s capture card now this is 150 dollars. this is a must buy if you want to record a gameplay, you need to buy this. You got to drop that 150 on here if you want to record a gameplay. Unless you're on PC. If you're on PC, you don't need this. But if you want to record a gameplay from consoles, you need this, definitely. This drone got low latency, which means it's instant. It uses USB 3.0. Now, for the longest, I didn't know what USB 3.0. But honestly, I didn't know what any of the USBs was. Like, I remember USB 2, but that was it. But then it was like USB 3, supposed to be like faster. Basically, you, if you want to know you got a USB C3, uh, you got a, it's a, it's usually like a USB and it got a, uh, it's on your computer and it comes on some like new laptops now and some PCs. It's a blue USB port. Basically, the regular USB port is like, uh, <clears throat> they're silver. This one will be blue. That's how you know. In order to use this, you must have a USB 3. Luckily, the PC that I bought had a USB 3 or else I would have been like, you know, really upset. Also, another way to look at it, it was might say, even if it's not blue, it might say SS, uh, USB SS, and it got like a little symbol, like an SS with a USB symbol. That means for super speed, it's the same thing. That's USB 3 as well. But, you know, it's just don't say 3 and it's not blue. I mean, yeah. And basically, this works for all consoles, whatever console you need, and it captures in 1080p. 1080p is like the great quality. Now, better than that is like 4K, but I mean, unless you want a PlayStation Pro or Xbox One, you don't need the, the, the upgraded version of this because the upgraded version of this is the HD60 Pro, I think. I think that's what it's called. Basically, it looks like a whole little computer, little drive chip thingy. That, that's, that's too much. It's like like two something. I'm not, I'm not dropping bread on that. Like I said, you only need that if you got like a 4K TV and you got 4K games. But uh, yeah, let's pop this joint open. This is what the box is gonna look like when it come in it. It's gonna look like this. And we open the box. It's gonna come in like this, come in a box like this. When you open it, capture card gonna be up here, the USB cable, and then and the uh, USB 3.0 joint. It's gonna be in here. It comes with a little sticker too. So I mean, like if you wanna use that sticker. I ain't usually, I mean, I, I don't got nothing to put on. But the capture card, pop this shirt. Capture card, this is what it looked like. That's it. This, this tiny little thing right here is what the capture card looks like. That's it. This is the capture card. This little thing was $150. And now the prices keep changing on Amazon. So you want, might want to get up there, get it pretty quickly because the prices keep changing. I said it was 114 at one moment. I was mad when I finally got the money to get in. And boom, price jumped up back to full price, 158. And I was like, are you serious, bro? 158? You was just 114 yesterday. Now I got the money to buy. You want to jump up back to full price? They did that to be grabbing. They knew I was about to buy because I kept looking at it. And basically they jumped up. But I got it for 147 because the price dropped again. It's back up to 155 now. I mean, y'all can check and see it, but basically... Try to get it as low as possible. Cause like I said, this is like the most important part that you need. But uh, yeah, that's it. Capture card. Basically this is my mic stand. That's where I put my microphone on. Uh, it's from Inno Gear. There's a bunch of microphone stands out there. You don't really need a really specific microphone stand unless you have a specific mic. And it might tell you need a specific microphone stand, but you know, I don't have a specific mic. So uh, yeah. Just a, I just need a normal microphone stand. Pop this bad boy open real quick. Here we go. Oh, what's that? Alright, I don't know what this is. This is tape? Someone like no tape to me. So this is tape. Look like scotch tape, but I mean, you know. Oh, okay. it is tape. It's like on the inside. It's, it's like right here. I had to open it. I didn't peep that. Alright, so I mean, I got some tape for something. I don't know, I don't know what that's for, but I got some tape. Clamp, oh, that's showing clean, showing shiny. 
strong, clean, clean, yo. Uh, yeah, you know, clamp, put on your table, whatever it is you need to, you know, clamp. Just the stand part, to where you put the mic at. Ooh, there we go. We're strong, clean too. Oh, time out. Broke it. No, I ain't break it. Better not be broke. See, this is how you know I ain't never do this stuff before. I don't even know what this is. It probably come, it came with the instructions. I, I'll put to get the leader, whatever this joint probably is. Probably like go in here somewhere. I don't know. I'll figure that out later. Uh, ooh. Here go the actual stand, the actual arm part, the neck. Uh, some bands on here. Oh, oh my, yo. My finger almost got clamped, bro. This joint, did you see that joint pop open on me? That gun really just popped open on me. My finger was right there, yo. My finger is about to be a goner. All right, so this gun is spring activated, like some sort. This gun is like a long bar. Right. All right, this gun a little confusing. Oh, wait, all right, hold on. There we go. There we go. All right, just screw this gun on. It's not screwing on it. I don't know, I'll figure it out later. But um, yeah, just the arm, basically just to hold your mic. So like, if you're recording, I had a mic sitting here like this. I'm just like talking and whatever. But, like, yeah, it's John, it's John, it's John Iron. It's like a little clamp bar, arm bar John. Dragon pad. Uh. It's my spit john. Uh, I said my spit john. My pop filter at me. <laughs> my, um, basically, this for like uh, when you're pronouncing like the words and your S's and L's and P's. Uh, basically, it keeps it from you know stuttering. Uh, like how the rappers be. You know, when they be in the studio and they be like they got the filter on, they be spitting and all that stuff. Basically, so the mic won't pick up that all that extra spit and all that. And basically, it's like because you know be like. Psh, psh, When they be doing all that stuff, it won't be, uh, it won't get all up in the mic. Real simple, like, that's what it look like, real small. Ooh, this one looks sensitive. Ooh, I want it, like, yo. Ooh, we got a bendy neck. All right, that's chilling. And a clamp goes onto the jaw, clamp onto the jaw, like, it's John chilling. You need this. You don't really need this unless you want your jaw to be, like, stuttering. Cause like not stuttering, it's gonna be like when you pronounce that S, it's gonna be like S. It's gonna be like that. It's gonna it's gonna pick up on that sound. You kind of don't want that sound to get picked up on. Basically, this is what this for. It just attaches to your mic, goes in front of your mic, and basically you're just talking to it. Like yeah, it still picks up your sound, but the basically the filter stops the S's and P's and L's and all that extra stuff. Last but not least. My mic, my blue snowball is from blue, right? Yeah, 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 blue, blue, blue snowball. Uh, this is a pretty great mic apparently. A lot of people recommended it to me and basically I bought it. I haven't used it yet, uh, but yeah, it's uh, look, look pretty good. Plug it in and I guess it just works. Let's pop this joint open real quick. Got a little, little John right here. I like the microphone part. Is it? What up? What a stand at? I'm a dummy, I'm a dummy, I'm a dummy. You look in the box, if you look at it, it kind of look like the box is empty. Unless you notice this little piece right here. That little John down there, right here, I ain't noticed that. So when I looked inside the box, it just looked like, cause it was like this. So like, if you look at it like this, 
with this little John in the way right here. It looked like the box is empty. It looked like that's the end of the box. Ain't nothing else in it. But in fact, that little piece is hitting right there. Hold up. Why does John not trying to come out? Come on, y'all. Stop playing with me. Twenty minutes later. Sean, really fighting me to come out. Sean, really not trying to come out, yeah. Two hours later. Hey, yo, why not fight with this box to get it out, bro? Come on, stop playing with me. Little box. Eventually. Oh, get out! Oh my goodness, yo. Dang, they packed this joint in there like they want nobody to open it. All right, now the box is in. Damn. Anyway, I got it open now. Um, speed this up a little bit. Open this joint up. They go to instructions. But oh, this joint thick. Better be like other languages in here. I don't think I'm reading all that. Okay. Oh, you can adjust it. That's nice. Oh, this joint a little heavy. I didn't, I didn't really pick it up the first time. This show, oh, this joint. Ooh. Oh, this joint looking clean. Oh, look at that, yo. This John looking kind of clean. Clean, clean. You see it? Ooh. Looking, ooh. This John nice. Hold up. Got some little stuff in here. This John kind of, this John kind of heavy. Yo, it's like this. Yo, it's really like the size of a snowball, bro. Or a Pokeball. Bro, this John like the size of a Pokeball. Bro, this John kind of hot. Put it on here. Hold up. Ooh, just screw right on it. Is it that easy? Hold up. Wait a minute. I think it's that easy. It's that easy. Is that is that easy? Done. Is it's, it's ready to use. And guys, we have here today. We are going to be playing Smash Four for the Wii U, and it's going to be great. Let me turn this around. It's going to be real great. Put my pop filter in front of it because I'm a rapper now. Yeah. Uh, but um, yeah, that's it. Now, one more thing, almost forgot. My man's got this for me for my birthday. Thanks, bro. Uh, basically, this I've never seen this before. I have no idea what it is. I looked at it and it says switch up game enhancer. He said it was very hard to get. And it took a while to get here, so it must be something pretty important. Uh, it says, use your existing controller on Switch. Wireless and wire controller. Okay. You know, Switch controller, Joy-Cons kind of stuff. Support for PS4, PS3, Xbox One, Xbox 360, and Wii U Pro. Pro. It's a Wii U Pro. I heard of a Wii U, but I never heard of a Wii U Pro. Bluetooth built in. All right, that's, that's always good. Switch light support. Oh, it has mods on it. Pokemon Sword and Shield mode. I don't play Pokemon, so I don't really know what it is, but it included automatic shiny chaining, watt generation, easy cycle, rare den farming, and more. Okay, I don't, I don't play Pokemon, so I don't really know what that means. Oh, it got a Fortnite mode, including aim abuse, rapid fire, smart fire, dual fire, and more in Battle Royale. So basically, this joint cheat for you, basically. <laughs> Basically, I'm guessing this joint is aimed by. I'm probably not gonna use this on Fortnite. I'm not, I, I ain't cheating in Fortnite. Zelda Breath of the Wild mode. Ooh, that's how I was gonna play that. Including Rupee and Arrow Generation. Oh, why? Right? Because we all know in Breath of the Wild, Rupees are hard to come by. And Arrows, you gotta keep buying them gems. Enhanced Weapon Mods. Okay, maybe they don't break. And Horse Mods and more. Ooh, maybe I can get a light, lightning horse. Lightning horse for lightning swift. That'd be nice. Keep it striking. Super Mario Odyssey mode. All right. I mean, all right. Including auto boss battle. It's gonna fight the boss for me. Oh, why? Right, that's what's up. I mean, the boss is not that hard anyway, but some of them be annoying. Auto coin and moon generation. I mean, that don't seem that great. Cause the whole point of Mario Odyssey, you're supposed to collect the moons and find the coins. So I mean like, if it just generates it for you, it kind of defeats the purpose of the game. 
so I probably wouldn't use it, but an easy Mario combo to Mario. Ooh, this show sounded like Smash. Talking about Mario combos. First of all, Odyssey don't even have combos, so I don't even know what it's talking about. Easy Mario combos and more. Combos what? Like, what they mean combos? I don't know. But this joint go for the Switch. Apparently, it's, it looked like it's like a mod joint. But I will warn you, though. Uh, Switch, um, they had, Nintendo has been tracking down on modders. So basically, if you get caught modding, they will ban your Switch and your entire account from ever playing online again. So basically, once you mod your Switch, you can never play online with friends ever. Like, ever. And they just remember you and your account identification. They remember all that. They really track cracking down on these modders. So, I'm not too sure what this is. <clears throat> It says game enhancer, but I mean it's a USB. But if it's if this is like a something that mods the switch, I mean I may not be able to use it yet. I mean I probably will buy a whole nother switch just to test it first, like a super pre-owned switch. Uh, might buy that just to test it. I mean once I get bread like that, just to you know, because there's a chance I'm gonna be wasting it. But in that case, I'll just use it for all my mods and I'm gonna have a problem anyway playing online, just playing online other job. But basically. Thanks, bro. I don't know if I can use it right now, but I definitely will use it. I'm about to open it up to see what it's, what it's about. John, I almost forgot about this, John. Ooh, hold on. All right, so I finally got it open. Ooh, I done ripped the box already. Oh, that John scared me. USB-C, John. Oh, that's done. to plug it into the yeah. little thing right here. Um, like a little card for the buttons and stuff. Beep beep. But yeah, I'll, I'll look into it. I'll see what it does. Um, see whether or not I can actually use it. I said I'm not trying to get my uh, trying to play online. I ain't trying to get my Switch banned. I'll do some research on it to see how bad the mods actually are. I mean, not how bad, you know. Whether or not it's an actual modding thing or if it's just like a little system that gets cheats for it. But I'll, I'll test it out at some point on another Switch. Might be a while before I test this out, but uh, yeah. And with that, welcome to Swift Gamer. Oh, I'm sorry. Like this with me. Let the storm.